Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There was an SBC that EA dropped yesterday that kind of flew under the radar. Not many people are talking about it, but it's making a lot of prices move on this market. You might need to check your club about those players required in it. We're going to talk about that today. And of course, the 78 plus player picks that were dropped yesterday. And we have some leaks. Fantasy Foot Heroes, Fantasy Foot Regular Cards, and the next promo coming after this one, Foot birthday has been confirmed no surprise but we still have to talk about it because foot sheriff was tweeting about it yesterday and it may already be impacting the market just a little bit and of course today on tuesday we'll talk about potential content and then more live games champions league games are back today and actually one conference league game as well with live upgrades on the line even a plus two for two specific cards because they haven't won yet since their cards released before Road to the Final. We'll get into all the madness and talk about what to expect today on FIFA in this video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start by talking about the SBC that I said at the beginning of the video you might have not thought about. That is the 12th man SBC. If you have any tradable cards in your club, I know we have a 78 plus player pick and a lot of us have probably dumped all the golds that we have into this but especially if you have some gold rares and non rares in your club that are tradable please take a look and make sure that not any of those cards are going for two three four thousand coins or above some people were selling some gold cards just random ones yesterday at nine to ten thousand coins because of this sbc and there's one reason why this also brings up a really really incredible trading opportunity if you're on a low budget or if you just want to honestly make thousands of coins on knowing how to read SBC trends. This SBC dropped yesterday, 81 rated squad, 31 chemistry, and some pretty interesting requirements that's not very easy to do for a rare mega pack, which is a really solid pack. It's not that expensive, although it's a bit tough to just do right away, right? You can think about it for a while, but a lot of people are using Footbin to get it done because of course, SBC solutions. And if you take a look at some of the cards in these solutions, prices for them are going up like crazy as these uh, solutions are rotated in and out. It's kind of reminding me of how we traded earlier on in the year with a lot of the SBC solutions with the advanced SBCs, right? Now, this SBC isn't that crazy, right? But you're like, Nate, does this really matter? It does. Check your club, man. Like, literally yesterday, guys like Timber uh, were going up. I'm just, I was just checking Lingard because he was another card that is up a little bit because this SBC. But Urian, Urian Timber's card yesterday was just 700 coins before a content. Right after this SBC dropped, boom, 6,000 coins because people go to Footbin and they look at these solutions and the solutions that are cheapest at the top people click on they go and look at those cards there are cards everywhere that are moving like crazy just a random one right Morales 80 rated left mid uh from La Liga who was in my club yesterday I was about to put him into an upgrade pack and I checked the market and boom he was like 2,000 coins right this happened to a bunch of random cards yesterday Chris Smalling is another one right especially if those cards are around 79 to 82 rated some had really incredible boosts in price 800 coins up to 3.9k for the smalling card so if you want to trade with this sbc it is still moving cards on the market and of course the demand is high right now because people are getting this sbc done um because it's fresh right and it's brand new in the game so check through the solutions on here and watch these solutions move about right cards like timber that went up a lot yesterday he could go back up again but continue to watch these solutions because cars that are maybe still showing on here at like you know six seven hundred eight hundred coins if they're new and fresh to a solution they could absolutely explode so check your club that's the number one thing but also learn from sbcs like this this happens weekly with uh marquee matchups and other pack supply species that ea may drop if it's a good pack and it has tough requirements people will still want to do it but they may not know how to so they're going to flip in to use the solutions and uh a lot of crazy random players go up a lot in price so players from main nations and main leagues right the top five leagues top nine nations especially with the club links right if you take a look at the solutions in here you have to have max four clubs so you've got some spurs guys in this one right kulusevsky mora benton Kuren. Sanchez, um, you've got Ramiro, Marino from the same club, you've got Toloy and Lookman and Boga and Zapata, right? So it's all about those club links and some of the league links. So check your clubs for some of the top five league, top nine nation cards because they are moving after that SBC yesterday. Now, also, we had the 78 plus player pick yesterday, which I'll do one for you guys right now. 
this is an okay pack. Like, you know, we had the 78 plus times three during team of the year. That was actually really, really good. This one is a one of three player pick though. It's not bad and it's a true player pick, right? It's not like the player picks we had last week where it was like a pack that was a player pick that you could save. This one is not like that at all. All you need is 11 non-rares. So it's just an okay player pick, but they've been giving out some good stuff. I haven't packed any special cards from them yet, but that's pretty, that's a little bit below average. I've gotten a lot of 83s, 84s, which has also helped me craft the hero player pick yesterday, which we did end up going and kind of uh, gambling on, right? With the one of five player pick and we hit the gamble, we hit the big boy, Cop de Villa. So I've got a new left back in the team. I'm super excited about him. Uh, so, you know, crafting that gamble, it was worth it for me. Now also crafting other SBCs, it's out there. It's worth it. It's good to do. Even if you're trying to finish off this Future Stars Academy upgrade with the extra 81s and 82s you might get from doing this, you can rinse into that. Or if you're doing the bronze pack method with the silver up, bronze upgrade, silver upgrade with those SBCs that are out, it makes a very craftable time right now on the FIFA menu. So yesterday's content was pretty quiet, but not too bad, but it is moving the market. And that's why I wanted to start off today's video by talking about that. Now let's move into what is upcoming and let's talk about a couple of the leaks because this kind of, you know, it makes me think a couple of different things about what's upcoming this next week with Foot Fantasy. We have two new SBC leaks right now. The first one is for a fantasy hero, a Foot Fantasy hero, Gomez is coming as an SBC stats are predicted. Kind of reminds me of his uh, foot captain's card from last year, right? That was the Mario Gomez we had last year that was upgraded from his base hero version. This could be a cool card. I know we just had Al Jaber that was really, really cheap, and that gives me hope that this Gomez card could be pretty cheap as well, but I don't exactly think he's going to be that cheap because he's a little bit well more, more well-known, played for Bayern, played for Stuttgart. That would probably be between those two clubs who he would represent. If it's Bayern, will there be a Bayern player in Fantasy Foot Team 2? Who knows? I kind of hope, I don't know, I was hoping that it would be Stuttgart so that we could get a Bayern player in Team 2, but they could make him upgradable via Bayern and then still drop a player in Team 2 as we have two Marseille and two Atletico Madrid players right now in Team 1. So, you know, this Mario Gomez, it could be cool though, right? His base card is 3-star, 4-star, so we would need the 4-star, four 4-star. Four uh, it would be a pretty kind of like trucky striker unless they would give him 5-star skills. Um, and then if they did give him 5-star skills, it would just kind of be like the crouch card that we have. So, I mean, that's cool. It's all going to depend on the price, but kind of, I guess we hope that it's going to upgrade for Bayern, Bayern because you'd most likely get some more upgrades based off of that. Now, I don't exactly know when this is going to drop, right? If I had to guess, I would maybe say that it, it would be later on in the week. That might be our SBC for Friday. I was thinking that a Mario Gomez card would be a perfect addition if they were going to do a team two of the fantasy heroes. But if they're going to put one in an SBC, are they not going to do a team two of the heroes? I don't exactly know. So we don't have our questions answered there yet for what's coming with team two for fantasy foot later on this week. But that is an SBC that is upcoming. I, it could be soon, but we just had Al Jaber, So I feel like EA might want to space those out. We will have to see. The other leak that we have right now, uh, this is very good for Bundesliga links, by the way. I know some of you guys with Bundesliga squads are like, Nate, stop talking crap about this card. I'm excited for him. So I know there is a good amount of hype there for the Gomez. Now, moving on to the other leak, which I feel like will probably come sooner rather than later. Sergi Dardare is added to come via SBC. This one feels like it could drop any day, maybe as soon as today. This man has not had any special cards this year, but he has a card that a lot of people, I think, used at the very beginning beginning of FIFA in starter teams because his base card is almost Hullet Gang, not like really close to Hullet Gang, but like for the start of the game for a cheap beast, he's there. He's got some really good traits and he has some decent links, right? Not the best links ever, but some pretty solid links if I could actually get footman search to work um you know la liga spanish links center attacking mid center mid and cdm he is three star three star which would definitely need to be upgraded but he is playmaker long shot long passer flare and finesse shot trade with again like i said 82 pace 83 dribble 82 passing and then mid 70 stats and all of his other card statistics very well rounded and if it's a cheap sbc and a good stat boost with the potential for upgrades as well i mean i'm not you know too into la liga but hopefully at least a plus two for this card you're looking at it if these stats are anywhere near uh correct you're looking at a pretty well-rounded midfielder if you have a la liga squad that could be nice so hopefully that's one of those sbcs just like al Jaber, that's pretty cheap around 100 maybe in 130k uh, that would be something nice for 
La Liga squads. I actually think that might be part of our SBC content today. I just expect that Dardare would be before the Mario Gomez. There's no guarantees about that, but that's kind of what I'm expecting with those SBCs. We'll get more into Tuesday content in a second, but the other thing I want to talk about is we actually know what promo is coming next, and it's been leaked, and that's how we know it. Now, there's no surprise, right? We figured that there was going to be the most popular promo that drops every single year in March after Fantasy Foot, and Foot Sheriff yesterday confirmed that with this tweet right here saying Foot Birthday is confirmed, the next promo after Fantasy Foot Team 2. Now, it's a very early league, and it's not a surprise, right? Because Fantasy Foot 2 is going to start this Friday. So for you, those that are asking, yes, this is a two-week promo. There's going to be more leaks, maybe starting today, tomorrow, about who's going to be in the second team of Foot Fantasy. So this is kind of a long way off, a week and a half away, but it's good to know. And it could start to impact the market just a little bit as the hype will begin to build and people will start to think about Foot Birthday because really, guys, Foot Birthday is on, I would say, on the level of like winter wild cards. It's one of those FIFA promos that is just legendary. You go back to FIFA 18, FIFA 17, and especially in the, in the most recent years, like FIFA 19, 20, and 21 all had great foot birthday promos. Last year was decent. It wasn't insane. It was decent, but this is always a fan favorite promo and a promo that brings people onto FIFA just because it's exciting. And EA always show out for their own birthday. So I don't want to spend a ton of time talking about foot birthday right now. I have one prediction for foot birthday and one prediction only just because Neymar just got injured. He only has two special cards on this game, the Inform and the Centurions. And if he's injured and out for the rest of the season, maybe hurting PSG's chances, maybe helping PSG's chances to um, kind of overtake Bayern and potentially keep moving on in the Champions League. We'll figure that out tomorrow. Um, but with him being injured, no more live performance-based cards. So it would make me think EA could very easily insert a Neymar into the foot birthday promo, and that could be like our big marquee foot birthday player this year. That's just my take. That's just my kind of uh, theory, but keep an eye out for that. I mean, Neymar special cards are few and far between, at least this year in FIFA anyway, so that's just my take. But for foot birthday hype, I don't really feel like it's impacting the market too much right now, but the prices yesterday, there were some rises, right? We did make some good sales. I bought these Bruno Gimaresh. I sold them 175 to 200. One of the Robles I got at 350 last night on a bid. I sold. I sold my Malasia. And I don't have a lot of coins because I still have a lot of cards on my transfer list that I'm trading with. But especially after that foot birthday leak yesterday and after content yesterday, it just felt like the market kind of was meh, right? I don't know how else to describe it, but just meh. You know, uh, we were expecting a little bit of a market rise and we had that, right? There was some good coins to be made with some cards rising up yesterday. Even the cards impacts from the fantasy team like Isak was at 280. He went all the way to 305 and then content came and he went back down to the 290s. He's about 280 right now. Look at the rise on Saliba yesterday too, right? You love the rare cards for how much they fluctuate. 1.16 all the way to 128. Back down to 1.16 again and now back up to 1.2 million coins. So a lot of fluctuations and not a lot of cards really skying. A lot of stuff just kind of staying where it's been. Not really a ton of cards dropping either. Now, there are a few cards that have been dropping from the Road to the Final promo. I think some of the cards that are the most popular investments from this promo team, um, Malin, Fofana dropped a little yesterday. Lucas Mora dropping down a little bit as well because I know there's a lot of people that have gambled on these and we're expecting them to rise a little bit more and they could rise a little bit more today but uh, just with the way the FIFA content is right now being a little bit lackluster and then foot birthday on the horizon could that make the market I guess have a little bit less buying power and less demand as people start to think about and maybe panic even this early for a foot birthday promo maybe I just feel like the whole market in general right now is meh right so that's kind of how I'm feeling not moving a lot in so many great ways positively um, in terms of the meta cards still some cards bouncing around and it's still a pretty solid market to trade in but it's not like incredible in that regard. So I would just tell you, if you have a team of tradable cards in it, we've seen a drop off from the last couple of weeks on this game. We know that. We talked about that with the lead up to the Foot Fantasy promo. Guys like Mbappe, Mbappe's back up a little bit, right? Look at this, actually, 770K. He was 740 on the weekend. So some cards are up a little bit. Alo Weyron, right, from some of the heroes that were panic sold on Sunday. This guy we were saying was a buy at 810,000 coins. He is back up to like 860. So some nice rises, but elsewhere on the market, especially where a lot of people are invested, like Road to the Finals, just feels a little bit 
meh, right? So just keep an eye on the market. I'm not saying you have to sell, but just be careful, right? Because I do believe with foot birthday will be coming some panic selling later on, maybe next week, maybe even this weekend, who knows? But there will be some more panic selling in my opinion later on with foot birthday on the horizon. Also, like we mentioned, watch out for foot fantasy two leaks that could even accelerate some panic selling if team two would end up being a lot more insane than team one. Now let's get the focus on today, Tuesday. What's going to be going on in this game? Well, of course, I think we might get one of those player SBCs. If I had to guess, it'd be Sergi Dard there. Um, yesterday was a bit of a surprise with this random out of positions player SBC, which is what the second one now that we've had both from the Bundesliga just random, right? But it is what it is. GG's EA for dropping an interesting card to say uh, the least there. I would expect maybe to get one more play player SBC today. And I'm hoping that EA would drop us some other sort of like gamble pack. You know, EA, it's time for a campaign pack once again, right? It's been a hot minute since we have had one of those. And I think we're due. I, I think we're due for a campaign pack, a player pick, maybe let it include future stars, let it include Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, let it include Centurions. Um, and they dropped a, a pack a, a couple weeks ago, right? That included everything but like Winter Wild Cards, right? There was some random promos that were inside of it. Maybe they're going to do some sort of player pick like that again. I would say today there's a potential for that, not a guarantee, but at least some potential for it. And then other than that, it might be a pretty quiet day on this game once again, unless EA have some surprises for us. So I'm not expecting a ton today, but hopefully something to shake it up just a little bit. The big action for today is what EA have kind of teased here incorrectly on this little info screen in game. We've got some big road to the final matches today, specifically the big one being Chelsea versus Dortmund with Fofana versus Malin and a plus two upgrade on the line, right? Ma or Dortmund and Malin have a one goal advantage right now on aggregate. So, um, you know, today's game, there's a plus two upgrade on the line if the team who wins today's game uh, also advances. Like, let's say Chelsea come back and win this thing today, right? They're playing at home. Let's just say they go ahead and do it, right? Let's say they win 2-0, and that, of course, covers the aggregate, so they will be moving on to the next round and they will be winning the game today. That would mean Fofana would get a plus two because the first game happened before the promo started, so that first win game technically didn't count yet. So today, regardless, for Fofana and for Malin, there's a double upgrade potential because if Dortmund end up winning the game today, they, of course, would go through, and that would mean this card would get a double upgrade. So a lot riding on these today. One of these cards is going to absolutely die in price by tomorrow when we're making uh, the video and looking at these prices tomorrow. Either Malin or Fofana is going to be under 100K and like split in half, 50% in price because they're no longer in Champions League after the second leg, and the other card is going to be flying. So be very careful these cards today. If you do own them and you don't want to risk it, selling in the hype is the play. But if you want to trade with them during the game, which is what we're going to try to do on stream today, there should be a lot of good fluctuations, especially because there's a potential plus two on the line there. Now, also a bit of a surprise today. Maybe some of you don't know this. There was a game that was moved up because of another game happening on Thursday. Felipe Anderson and um, I guess I think it's Lazio versus uh, Sheriff. No, Lazio versus AZ Alkmaar is the game today in Conference League. They are playing today. Usually Conference League is on Thursdays, right? But today they are playing, I think it's due to the, the stadium. It's being uh, like it's overbooked or something. The Stadio Olimpico, um, you know, they have to play their game today. So this game is also happening today. There's only three cards in action today. Felipe Anderson and then, of course, Fofana and the Malin card. So watch out for those. But then, of course, we've got more games tomorrow with Nuno Menge and Goretzka. Same situation, plus two on their line for both of these cards, or a double upgrade, we should say. If Nuno Menge and PSG do end up coming back and winning, I want to talk about this now before the game tomorrow. Nuno Menge is an 86-rated card. So without Neymar, if they can pull off the incredible upset here and uh, end up moving on to the next round and, of course, winning the game tomorrow, Nuno Menge would actually become an 89-rated card. That would be a Double upgrade, a plus two, but since he's, since he's an 86, right? Remember what happened with Rath Spadori? He'd go to an 88, and then that'd be one upgrade, and then another plus one to take him from 88 to an 89. And then if um, 
if Bayern Munich win the second leg, and of course they would move on in the next round, this Leon Goretzka would go to a 92 <laughs> rated card. That would be crazy if you give this guy a plus two. Because again, just like the Dortmund and uh, Chelsea game, that game happened before the promo started back at the beginning of Road to the Final. Now, there's one situation that EA changed from last year, and this was something that I thought was going to go the same way as last year, but EA have changed it. Think about next week's games between especially Manchester City and Leipzig. We're going to dive into some quick details here in just a second. If you have a Calvin Phillips or a Forsberg and you're hoping for a plus two, unfortunately, a plus two is not going to happen for Calvin Phillips or a plus two for the win and the upgrade. The win first match upgrades are different this year in FIFA 23 than last year. The first match played after the card was released, after the item was released. That is the only game that counts for the first match. Last year, it was the first match that a team won. Didn't have to be the exact first match that they played. If the team, if the card was released, after the promo started, that first match in the first leg um, counted for it. So, unfortunately, Calvin Phillips cannot get a plus two, even though there was a draw in the first leg. That was some confusion because that is different than last year. It is 100% different because last year, Foden got a plus two for a second leg win and advancing for City. If that same situation happens this year with Calvin Phillips, he will only get a plus one because the first game was a draw. So just a really quick check on some of the fantasy cards as well. You saw my transfer list. I had some screeny R's. Now, I, I, you know, I should have sold screeny R yesterday when he was up at like 265K because he peaked there just for a quick minute. Right now, he's back down to like 250. Do I believe in these cards? I bought two of these at like 240 flat. I kind of believe in them. I kind of don't. I think what I might be doing today is if I see a nice market rise, I'm probably going to look to take the coins on some of these cards. Peter Crouch, I was listing at 300,000 coins. I bought him at 260. He was all the way up at like 295. I was hoping to get a little bit of a lazy. He's back down to 277. So there was an opportunity to take the coins on some of the cards that I bought yesterday. Um, regardless of where they're at today, I might kind of take some of the coins on some of these quick flips that I was just trying to make some coins on, even if I take a couple tax losses, just because I want to have my coins liquid and ready to go for the trading today. Um, and it just, again, like I said, the market just feels a little bit meh at the moment. But that's kind of the update for what's going on in FIFA right now. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the content yesterday, what you think about the leaks, and maybe if you're excited for the foot birthday promo and some live card trading today. If you want to witness live card trading, it's one of the most fun things Ever. I'm telling you guys, come through the Twitch stream. Link is down below in the description. It hopefully will be a blast today if that game is um, pretty action-packed. There will be a lot of movements and a lot of opportunities to make coins. So if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. See you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan with Account and catch you guys there. Peace. Out.